Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to go over do while loops. So in a previous video, we went over while loops and basically while loops are used to repeat a block of code an unspecified number of times until a condition is met. So basically you would have a condition and if that condition is true, you would execute a block of code and then you check the condition again. And if it's true, you continue executing the block of code. Now a do while loop is different in that instead of checking the condition first, you execute the block of code first. So after executing the block of code, you check the condition to determine whether we should continue the do while loop. So a do while loop will guarantee at least one iteration. So in this video, you'll learn the difference between a while loop and a do while loop. And I'm going to use an example here. First, I'm going to write a while loop so let's say we want to create a guessing game. So I'm going to create a string guess word, and I'm going to set this to Kenny. And then I'm going to create another string input word. And in C++, when you have a variable string and you don't assign anything, it defaults to an empty string. And then let's add an integer guess turn and let's just set this to one. So this is going to be used for keeping track of the number of guesses that the user has made. So now if I were to create a guessing game with a while loop, I would do while input word is not equal to guess word. And then in here, I'm going to do C out guess number guess turn and end line. And in this case, I can increment guess turn using post increment. So basically it's going to print this value on this line and then increment the value. So currently the input word starts as empty string. So this is going to be true since an empty string is not equal to this value. So here, I'm going to prompt the user to input a value. So I'm going to do cn input word. And if the user was able to break out of the while loop, then we would print out a message. So c out correct guess. All right, so now let's run our program. And as you can see, guess number one. So I'm going to put a and that's wrong. So guess number two, I'll put coffee. That's wrong as well. And I can put anything C++, Python, and it'll keep on going until I guess the word. So we have a guessing game here. But the problem is the user can only exit the while loop if they guess the correct word, we want to provide an option for the user to quit the game if they choose to give up. So in this case, we need to determine what the user must input to quit the game. And the easiest thing to input is just an empty string. So you just hit enter, you don't put in a guess, that means you give up. So here I'm going to put and input word is not equal to an empty string. And actually in C++, strings have a function called empty. So we don't have to do it like this. Instead, we can say, if not, input word dot empty. So input word dot empty is going to return true if it's an empty string and false if otherwise. So we put this exclamation mark in front of it signifying if not empty, then continue the game. Now, of course, there is a problem and that is we initialize our input word as an empty string. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste this and place it over here. So before we start the while loop, we are going to have the user guess one time and then make the check. And if this is incorrect, then we prompt the user for another guess. And of course, over here, now that we have two conditions that would break the while loop, we need to account for both the conditions. So here I'm going to do if input word dot empty. This means that the user gave up they don't guess, so it's going to be an empty string. So if that is the case, we are going to output quit game. And then here we're going to do else 
if it's not empty, that means they guessed the correct word. So we're going to say correct guess. So now let's save and run our program. So before the while loop begins, we are going to ask the user to input a value. And so here I can put a random word like water. And you can see that is incorrect. So now the while loop begins. And now we are over here. And maybe I can put fire, coffee. And let's say I want to quit. So if I want to pass in an empty string, I would hit enter, right? But that's incorrect here. And that is because of C in. When we hit enter, it's just going to go to a new line. So we need to fix this. So I'm going to press Control C and this will terminate the program. So instead of doing it like this, we would use the get line function. And you might remember this function from one of my previous videos on getting user inputs in C++. So get line, we're going to pass in C in and input word. So if you are unsure how this works or you've forgotten, you can check my video on getting user inputs in C++ and I will link it in the video description. And don't forget, we also need to change it over here. So I'm going to copy and paste this and replace this line with get line. So now if I save and run the program, so we have guess number one, I'm going to put coffee. Guess number two, I'll put water, orange, tea. And at this point, I don't know what the word is, so I'm going to give up and I'll just press enter. So when I press enter, it's going to assign input word and empty string. And as you can see, I've quit the game. All right, so that's how you can use a while loop to create a guessing game. And here is an issue, and that is we have duplicate code. So as you can see, these two lines are equivalent to these two lines. So we are writing a necessary copy of the same code. So in programming, we generally want to avoid duplicate code. So how can we resolve this? Well, we need this because we need to initialize input word with a value that is not an empty string. So this is where a do while loop comes in. So remember what I said earlier, the do while loop executes the code first and then checks the condition. So to create the do while loop, I would type do curly braces. And then I will put the code that I want to execute. So I'm going to copy and paste these two lines of code. And then here, I'm going to specify a condition. So while, and I'm going to copy and paste this line of code. And don't forget the semicolon. So now basically this is saying do this and then check the condition. So do this while this condition is true. So here you can see because I can execute this first and then do the check, there is no need for me to write these two lines twice. So I can just get rid of this. So I'm going to comment this out. And so if I save and run the program, you can see we execute the code first and we can input a guess. So over here, so here I can put coffee and then it checks the condition. And since I input an incorrect word, it's going to repeat the loop. So here I can make another guess. So let's put T and that is wrong. And I can just exit if I press the enter key. So this will pass in an empty string. And as you can see, we have quit game. And just to show you a winning condition, if I run this program again, and I type in coffee, T, and then Kenny, you can see we have correct guess. All right, so that's do while loop. And hopefully you understand the difference between a while loop and a do while loop. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more C++ tutorial videos. And if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.